Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in my last uh, videos, in videos, I mentioned how to design uh, inverting and non-inverting summing amplifiers. Now in this video, I will show you how to design a, a differential amplifier. Basically, a differential amplifier is very very useful circuit in many analog electronics applications where uh, one can find a uh, difference in two signals uh, either it is a, a human body uh, signal that is in milliwatts or in microwaves or a large signal uh, in various applications so the difference amplifier is actually opposite of the summing amplifier it this amplifier is this difference amplifier is used to take the difference of the input two signals either the input signals are sine wave or cosine wave or a simple analog voltage so let's see how to design the circuit so i would start from the uh, inverting summing amplifier design i would convert this design into a difference amplifier so I will simply delete these wires and like this. See? Now this input is given on the negative terminal while another input that is the stimulation signal is given on the positive terminal unlike the summing amplifiers where all the inputs are given either on the negative terminal or the positive terminal in the difference amplifier the two signals are fed on both of the terminals positive and negative one signal is terminated uh, one signal one stimulus signal is input on the negative terminal and the other stimulus signal is input into the positive terminal of the op amp okay so <coughs> the formula of uh, the difference amplifier is basically something uh, like this So this is the formula of the different amplifier. Here, as we can see, that R4 is a feedback resistor and R2 is input resistor, and R3 is the resistor or connected to the ground with the positive terminal, and R1 is the input terminal, input resistor. So the difference amplifier formula is basically the difference of the voltage source number one and voltage source number two with some gain. This term is actually a gain term. We can add a gain uh, into the difference amplifier with the help of these resistor settings. Okay, I would not go into the derivation of this uh, equation of the difference amplifier, but I would only show you the working and simulation of the circuit. So let's suppose we take all these four resistors equal to each other. Therefore, the formula would be simplified into following. V1 minus V2. Very simple. This formula would be 
in the case if all the four registers are equal to each other you can do a match to get this while <coughs> if we set r3 equals to r1 and r4 equals to r2 where if you set r3 equals to r4 sorry r3 equals to r4 and r1 r2 set to each other equal therefore the gain formula the output voltage formula would be simplified to something like this that is if we set r3 equals to r4 and r1 equals to r2 then this term would be terminated and we will get this okay. and R4 and R3 are equal as we know therefore we can see we can say V1 minus V2 multiplied by the gain R4 divided by R2. So if we set these two resistors equal to R2 and we set this resistor and this resistor equal to each other, that is R4 then the output voltage output signal would be something like this would be the difference between the voltage source 1 and voltage source 2 with a gain of R4 with a gain of R4 upon R2 right so we would see uh, this case first of all Right. Let's give a signal of let's say 3 volt there and 2 volt here and allow voltages. So what would be the result? It would be one equal to an allow voltage of 1 volt. As you can see, the analog voltage of 1 volt we are getting here. Right? And if we can point here. This is 3 volt and this is 2 volt. 2 volt and 3 volt and the difference is 1 volt. Right? Now, if we set these two resistors equal to each other, like we set it 5 kilo ohm and 5 kilo ohm. So these two resistors are equal and these two resistors are equal. Therefore the gain would be equal to 2. So our output voltage would be equal to let's say it is 4 volt and let's say it is 2 volt. Let it be 5 volt. 5 volt and 2 volt in course of voltage sources and low voltage therefore the output difference would be 3 volt and amplified 2 times it would be 6 volt so the result would be 6 volt let's see as you can see the output is 6 volt correct 6 volt and input voltage is 5 volt and other input voltage is 2 volt Right, minus 6. Minus 6 is because this is again the uh, inverting and inverting configuration of difference amplifier. Now, if we change these uh, signal sources to sine wave, and let's say its amplitude is 
5 volt 1 kilohertz and this has 2 volt amplitude and 1 kilohertz therefore let's see what would be the result yes 5 and 2 the difference is 3 and 2 times is, it is 6 so the amplitude would be 6 volt yes it is coming out to be 6 volt right and this is input power input 5 volt and 2 volt and the result is minus 6 volt as you can see these are the positive piece of the input while this green waveform has a negative peak on the same time period therefore it's, it is showing that it is an inverting configuration of the transmitter wire right so <coughs> I hope you guys learned about the different amplifier how to design and, uh, and how to simulate the circuit very basic circuit and it is used very commonly in analog electronics I hope we can see you in uh, upcoming videos. Please take care of yourself and stay tuned to my upcoming videos. Thank you.